Welcome to the MetaJive Podcast brought to you by GamerJive. I'm your host, Peter Perez. Today, I'm joined by Keisha Walker, founder and chairwoman of Black Collegiate Gaming Association, focused on providing underrepresented youth opportunities in esports and gaming. We'll be discussing her upcoming virtual gaming and esports job fair on April 7th, right here on GamerJive. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. I'm Peter Perez, head of community at GamerJive, and I have the pleasure of having Keisha Walker, the founder and chairwoman of the Black Collegiate Gaming Association. Thank you so much, Keisha, for joining me. Thank you, Pete. I'm super excited to be here. I love everything you're doing at Gamer Jive. Love the fact this is our second year partnering with you on our virtual job fair. That's excellent. And speaking of the job fair, this is happening in the metaverse. So we know this year, the year 2022 is big about the metaverse. Next year, who knows what it's going to be. It'll be really interesting to see how all of this evolves. But my first question for you is really about the founding of BCGA and what was that inspiration for you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, my nephew was had just turned 11 and uh, was trying to surprise him for his 11th birthday. And like the rest of the world in May 2020, our lives had changed and we were living home in a virtual space. My, my sister was concerned about the amount of time he was spending outside of you know, actual classes, playing around, in her opinion, on video games and who he was playing with and who he was talking to during these games. And I, I've been a gamer my entire life. And she was like, go talk to him, please. You, you know that space. I don't, I, he doesn't, we don't connect on that. And she's like, figure out what's going on and, and tell me what I need to do because I think he needs to stop playing. I said, oh, no. He definitely doesn't need to stop playing. So when I talked to him, he started showing me the professional gamers that he was following, the games he loves to play, the colleges that he wanted to uh, you know, go to and major in gaming and esports. And I was like, Jackson, where do people look like us? I don't see any women on anything you've showed me. I was like, I don't see any brown men. I was like, you, that, you don't find that strange? And he's like, no, of course not. Nothing's wrong with that. Gaming doesn't have color. And I said, I love that about you. And I was like, but unfortunately, the world does see color in, in different forms. I was like, and you should see color. People look like you in whatever you do. If not, we've got to do something to change that. So uh, that's really how I started the Black Leagues Game Association. That was May 14th of 2020. I went back uh, to Atlanta and started doing some research to figure out how, why there weren't more people of color in this space. And I saw there was an amazing opportunity to get more women of color and Blacks. Um, into gaming, especially um, leadership management executive sides. Uh, we, we do a great job of playing the games and recreational use, but there's a huge opportunity to diversify and address this gap between the money and time we spend playing versus the money and time we spend producing, making, developing, marketing, you know, selling, animating the games. Yeah, the representation aspect is super important, and I, I wholeheartedly agree that gaming, people just want to complete the quest. They want to complete the mission, and they don't care. As long as you come to the table and you're ready to play, they don't care where you're from, what language you speak. I mean, it really does supersede a lot of those uh, perceived barriers, right, that might exist out there, and that's that's why I love gaming. I got a family of gamers over here. Um, but the students that are a part of BCGA and that, you know, are in your sphere of influence, what are some of the bigger takeaways that you want them uh, to get out of a virtual career fair? Uh, first and foremost, that there are all kinds of opportunities in this space, and you can work in the gaming industry no matter where. Um, you can do it virtually. Uh, you can do it, you know, in an office, in a studio, uh, you know, overseas in you know Japan, Turkey, Pakistan. You know, this is a worldwide industry and opportunity, and I, I want students to know that the, the literally the world is your theirs if they want to, um, in the gaming industry and space. There's a whole lot of opportunity, there's a whole lot of money to be made, and there's a, a whole lot of places that they can make their mark, uh, especially in, in a game space that they probably already play and use on a daily basis. Yeah, so there's something unique about this particular event. Obviously, we're we're in the metaverse. We're doing this virtually. Um, it, now with kind of COVID seemingly to be dying down and uh, you know, people want to get back in person to do this or to, to have these kinds of events. But what's interesting about the metaverse is it kind of gets to expand beyond just uh, the local uh, job opportunities and then be instantly becomes a global outreach. Um, can you speak to the importance of needing to expand, right, right, the available opportunities for college students today? Absolutely. It's, it's so much bigger than their campus their community, their city, and their state. You know, it's, it's such a, there's global implications, opportunities here. We've got an amazing group of corporate partners that have come on board to meet, 
learn and find out about the experiences that students have and where there can be a, a, a fit, opportunity fit for either internships, entry-level job opportunities, even some part-time opportunities to help them gain some make experience, help build up their resumes and portfolios as they continue to prepare to eventually graduate and come and work in this industry full time. So I'm super excited about the job fair. Oh, uh, that's excellent. And I, I love that, you know, now when you bring your resume and you upload it online, it, it's, it's super important to be able to do that. Um, it, resume writing is still a challenge. Do you, do you feel like, you know, that there's room there to help kind of increase the capability, right, to, to have that portrayal and that representation there and the resume writing, because I know I remember years ago when I did my resume writing, but even today it evolves and, you know, the hiring managers want to see something different. Um, how, how important is that to you? Absolutely. I mean, now, you know, hiring managers are asking for portfolios. They want to see you know, <laughs> yeah. video. There's talented. It's... There's a lot of talent out there <laughs> yeah. doing doing things that are, are beyond what I could envision that college was teaching them. Uh, Absolutely. And, and then students need to be prepared and understand that this is not your traditional paper resume days anymore. And the, and the more creative you can be with your, your virtual video resume, the easier it's going to be for you to stand out and, and gain those opportunities to work in these companies. They're looking for creativity and they want, uh, they want uh, you know, the opportunity to see variety and diversity um, in, its, in, its, in its best form. So why not you know, come and show and be ready uh, on, you know, on April 7th uh, with their, with the virtual job fair. And so we definitely want to direct people and, and give them a chance to get to talk to some resources there and learn what it takes to, to, to be ready to go and work at some of these amazing international companies in the gaming industry. Yeah, that's, that's excellent. I, I love how uh, the, the opportunities are going to continue ex to expand um, while the, you know, the metaverse is still kind of very new and young. Um, this, this is really exciting to have pioneers like yourself come in and experiment with it and try to figure out, you know, like how clunky is it? And some of us in the industry, like we call it the clunky verse because it's just, <laughs> it, it's, it really is. It's like, you know, when the automobile first came in the market, you know, it wasn't out there immediately hitting the racetrack. Uh, it had this iteration and evolution. And so we're excited to, um, you know, see over the past two years how this has expanded the capability and offerings for communities to be able to come together. Um, but my uh, last and final question, uh, you have some interesting partners that are going to be here offering opportunity or at least sharing some requisitions with some of the college students that will be participating. Do you want to share and go through a couple of those names? Absolutely. Uh, was special thanks to Scopely, uh, DraftKings, uh, Riot Games, uh, ADT for their partnership with us. Uh, what I'm super, super excited about, and I can't tell you enough, is, is how game-changing what you're doing is with Gamer Jive and that you've allowed us to be a part of your family and to expose, provide them with these amazing benefits and, and to get a chance to oh, the honor interact is ours. on such, a, <laughs> Stop. such an amazing platform. Stop. I love this. And I mean, it takes a job fair to a whole nother level, you know, because some students sometimes are intimidated by job fairs yeah. um, and the whole moving around, interacting and, and the experience they get while they're on the platform on the gamer drive platform is huge well, uh, I, I love it maybe in the future we can get some music performers in here as well uh and, yes. and, and get a good mix of uh not only entertainment but also the job opportunities that exist well keisha i am so so pleased uh to be working together with you on this uh the job fair will be happening on april 7th and we'll have some details uh included with this video for anyone who wants to participate please share this Please let people know and spread the word. Uh, we want to have college students to have an opportunity, either in person or virtual, or let's put them together uh, to be able to yes. get in front of these employers because there are opportunities out there and they're just waiting. And they're to hiring. Yeah. Yes, and they're ready. Thanks to you and Fernanda and the entire team. Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Keisha. Thank you so much. Same here. And thanks right, for thank joining you. me on this podcast. Uh, absolutely. Thank you so much.